If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. This is something that we all knew was coming, but we just never really thought about when it was gonna come. I know there were some speculations about it earlier on this summer, talking about a possible release date in August or September, but now we actually got the official confirmation for a new Juice World album. The party never ends. If you're a Juice World fan or you've been following the channel, you've probably heard about this because this is something that a lot of people were talking about. So let's go over what happened, how this thing was announced, and when we can expect it to drop. So, The Party Never Ends was always a rumor title for a new Juice World project. As you probably know, Juice passed away in December of 2019, and after that, there was a posthumous release released, obviously, in 2020 during the summer called Legends Never Die. And at the time, that was also an album that I covered. And if you've seen my review on it, you know that I was actually very positively surprised by it. And the reason for that is that usually I'm not a fan of posthumous releases. Usually there, you know, look at XXXTentacion or look at Lil Peep or what they did to their discography, how they just milked every last verse, every last audio file that they could get and put them on a song, and then they release it as a posthumous release, and it just does really well uh, in terms of numbers, but all the money goes to their estate and their label or the people that are now in charge of their discography and their legacy, and they just do it for commercial reasons without actually uh, respecting the, the artist's intentions behind and, you know, using these songs and putting them out to the public. Anderson Pack recently got a tattoo on his forearm saying, yo, don't release any music posthumously. If I did not release it myself, then it wasn't meant to be heard by the public. I made a whole video about that, so you can go check that out if you haven't yet. And that is something that I respect very much and that I think is the right move because every artist should have full control, full creative control over what happens to their music. Anyway, let's actually talk about what y'all are here for today, which is the announcement of a new Juice World album, The Party Never Ends, his second posthumous release after Legends Never Die. And it was announced by Lil Bibby. Lil Bibby, if you don't know, very close closely associated with Juice World, the one who also then ended up getting him signed to grade A back in 20, when was that, 2017, 2016, something like that, and he was also the one who, you know, was in charge of the whole rollout of Legends Never Die back when that dropped, and who we can always kind of very surely look to when it comes to Juice World official stuff and new music, so uh, he, a while back in May of this year, he posted a tweet, or he tweeted a tweet, saying the party never ends, and like a, a Juice drink box as an emoji and a globe which stand for Jews world of course um, and this you know that there we got the official announcement that this was actually the title that we were gonna get it at some point but back then we just didn't know when exactly when it was gonna drop any more details on this thing but that happened yesterday on September 4th when little baby took to Twitter to just post September 17th and obviously this is, I mean, this is not an official announcement. He didn't say Juice World's new album, Legends Never Die, is dropping on September 17th, or The Party Never Ends, excuse me. Uh, but this is very surely an announcement for this. We're going to get it on that day, 99.9% .9 sure, because what other stuff does Lil Bibby have to tweet about, let's be honest. And of course, he's going to get the most traction with this. And a lot of y'all already, you know, retweeted it in the Discord or posted in the Discord that this thing was going to drop. So shout out to everyone in the Discord. Also, for any new viewers, if you're you're not part of the discord yet go join it in the description down below because it is an amazing place for anyone who loves hip-hop to come together talk about music and always get the latest news before they get a video for themselves you feel me because everyone's in there posting stuff and always being up to date so make sure you follow that discord or join the discord in the description anyway let's get back to the party never ends because obviously that is really exciting that we're finally getting it i mean september 17th is next friday so this is a release date he didn't just post a random date this is actually a release date because it releases on a Friday. Uh, we know that Juice was working on this album as well before he passed away. That is why I have somewhat of some, you know, solid hopes that it is going to be not too bad. Because as I said, look at XXX Tentacion. The last two albums, Skins and Bad Vibes Forever, were really just like scratching the last couple of snippets they could get from him. Putting them on a record, putting like a beat over it, getting some people to do features for him. And then they called it an album 
but it completely destroyed and left a big, you know, negative mark in his legacy. And so far for Juice, the same hasn't happened yet. Because Legends Never Die really felt like an album that he wanted to do. You know, the songs were mostly f made by himself and weren't just put together after the fact. Um, it felt like it was produced very professionally, not just some, you know, demo versions of his vocals that they put on there. But he was really in the studio recording this thing. And the features that were on there were actually features that he worked with while he was still alive and that he wanted to be a part of uh, the, you know, the respective song. So, as you probably know, I was actually quite a fan of that album. I thought it was a pretty good record, a really good for a posthumous release. That year, we got two really good posthumous releases with Shoot for the Stars and for the Moon by Pop Smoke, which now his second posthumous release, Faith, kind of, you know, it, it, it leaves a bitter, a bitter taste to his discography. And I hope just the same thing doesn't happen to Juice World because he's an artist that a lot of people obviously have a, you know, a strong connection to. He was one of those people that were really a voice of like a generation. I still remember when Juice dropped like, you know, Goodbye, Good Riddance, and then after that also Death Race for Love. People had that on repeat. People were listening to it. They really felt what he was saying. And I still think the same was true for Legends Never Die. Also because it was so personal with a lot of these songs that he put on there. Also all the interludes, you know, Juice World Speaks from Heaven and stuff like that. It really felt personal. It felt like this was actually something that uh, he ha he would have wanted to have put out. And I just hope that The Party Never Ends follows in the same footsteps because it would just be a shame if, um, you know, a new Juice World record leaves fans with that bitter taste to his career because we, we know for pretty sure that this is going to be his last posthumous release. So the last new music that we're going to hear from Juice, maybe some singles after that, obviously. But it's pretty much confirmed by Bibi and also other sources that Legends Never Die was the first one and now we're going to get The Party Never Ends, the album that he was working on himself still while he was alive and after that it's just you know done with that chapter is closed and people can just appreciate the music that he's made so far and put out so far himself into the world up to that point but just no new music after that so that's why I have hopes for this new record The Party Never Ends which is dropping on September 17th as was just announced by Lil Bibby a pretty pretty good source for Juice World news I gotta say um, so this is pretty much confirmed I have my hopes up whatever this brings uh, for us I think that is gonna be worth our time and not just another posthumous release that goes unnoticed or that goes noticed but it's just not really it and leaves uh, uh, the artist's legacy um, in a negative light so let's all stay excited for Party Never Ends Juice World September 17th I want to know what y'all think about this what do you think about the announcement what do you think about the release date what uh, songs what snippets do you want to want to have on there do you think it's going to be better than Legends Never Die do you think it's going to be worse how did you feel like you know the, the second Pop Smoke album Faith after his first one was so good ended up being and do you think the same is going to happen to Juice with this new record let me know in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day, and y'all take care.